This is Twit. Tamar in Los Angeles has a broken time machine. Unfortunately, it's merely her time machine backup on her Apple computer. What's going on, Tamar? Well, I've I've been trying to make it work for several months, and um, it'll work a while, and then I get that, that message that says Time Machine completed a verification on your backup on airport time capsule, but Time Machine must create a new backup for me, and they want me to start all over again. Ay, 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 caramba. And this happens about every three weeks or so, and, and I do have Apple Care, and I've been on the phone with Apple Care many, many afternoons. They've, they've escalated me to the high up troubleshooters, the people, and then they have me e email copies of my console <sighs> entries, and they try to figure out what's wrong, and they tell me it's fixed, and then it works for another three weeks or so, and then I get the same er error message. And while I know you can't fix it over the phone with me, when do I say to them, that's it, no more, I want a new, I want a new gadget? So you bought a, a time capsule. Yes. Which is a router with its hard drive built into it that is designed mm -hmm. to back up over the network using the time machine software in your computer. And it yes. sounds like it's doing it successfully. It's making a complete backup. It's even verifying it. Mm -hmm. You don't get any failure warnings or anything like that. Um, well, this is to me, this is a failure. Warning. Well, no, clearly this is, but it doesn't say at some point, ah, uh, we couldn't, we ran out of room or anything like that. Oh, no, it's like two terabytes or something, and there's no way I'm filling it up. It's not that. I wonder if there's a problem with, a physical problem with that hard drive. You mean with my computer's hard drive? No, the time machine. There's a hard drive in your airport. And oh. that, if that hard drive were, see, so what it sounds like is happening is it's making a complete backup. And then for some reason, we're trying to figure out why, it decides mm -hmm. that backup, nah, let's start over. Right. And every three weeks I have to call up the Apple guy and they go with me and they, they tell me how to start it all over again. Do they, do they give you a hint as to why they think that's happening? Well, um, I, you know, they, they look at, they look at, like I said, there's this console thing and I do, he says, he'll say copy from five minutes, 32 seconds to five minutes, five seconds. There's something, he'll tell me to copy this and email to him and then he'll call me back and he'll say, okay, I think this is a problem and he'll, He'll have me do it over again. I mean, these are high up guys. It's not just like the regular Apple Care guy. And you know, I've done that a couple of times already. And and w you know, can I walk in and put it on the table and say I've had yes. it with this piece of machinery yes. and I want another one? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, not that that. But here's my concern: that what if it doesn't fix it? It may not be related to that actual piece of hardware. Um. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And then to, and, and the other question is: if I do that. How do I get everything off of there so that well, I don't Well, you don't you don't need the backup. You don't need the backup unless you erase stuff and you want it back. Well, I also have iDrive, so I have two two ways of backing up. Good for you. Away, Good for but, you. I'm proud of you. You don't have to worry about your data. I, I would right. I would say you don't need to worry about what's on the time machine because you've still got your originals and your iCloud backup. But I mean, what if somebody whoever gets this piece of Oh yeah, you want it wiped. Absolutely. I, mean. How would I do that. Um, that's an interesting question. Can you mount the time capsule on your uh, desktop computer and see it as a drive? If you could, you could erase it there. Uh, it's you know Apple has a secure erase built into the operating system. I'm really I I'm worried though that you're going to replace it with another one and the same thing's going to happen because it's not anything wrong with the time capsule but it's something that's what, they, that's what the guy told me he says i don't believe anything's wrong with the time capsule that's why they haven't offered to replace it yeah. yeah yeah well um i'm looking i'm seeing here and looking uh on the apple support site about people with similar issues uh which probably these are probably the same kinds of things that apple tried to fix um that's just, I, you know, it could be a network issue. Um, I just, you know, you've, you've baffled me. Oh, I'm so um, sorry. No, not at all. I will put a link in the show notes on how to erase a time capsule, thanks to a table in our chat room. Um, yeah, I did it, see, it does mount in the finder, so I could just get... Yeah, just that's probably what they would, they would have you do is to... Um, uh, let's see, the, the use software update to download... Uh, 
How to verify or erase an airport time capsule disk. Uh, open airport utility. Click the disk tab. Select airport time capsule disk, and there's an erase button. Oh, that's nice. So, And okay. you can choose a secure erase during that. So there, the Apple does put that in the airport utility. That's good. That's the way they should do it. But you think that it's probably not the airport time machine. Well, I don't know. Obviously, the Apple support guy does. But you have every right, by the way. Mm -hmm. And because you live in California, the Lemon Laws say that you could bring that in and say, look, you've tried how many times now? At least three times. Yeah, you've tried three times to, to three fix times. this. Mm -hmm. It's still broken. I want a new one. And I think they mm -hmm. would be nice about it. You know, the genius has a lot of leeway. Even if mm -hmm. Apple's policy were not to replace it until eight times, the genius can say, you're right. I'm so sorry, Tamar. This is terrible. Here, have mm -hmm. a new one on us. So uh, you, if you're nice and you say, look, I, you know, this is... I keep doing this, and it keeps breaking. I'm at wit's end. I called the radio show, and everybody in the world heard this, and he didn't know what was wrong. So can you please just replace it? Okay. And I then think if they'll replace wrong, it. Then, then what would I do? If that, if that one goes wrong, then... Well, then, then we... My computer? It's not that it's something wrong with your computer. It's something... It's a complicated setup, and there's something going on possibly with your network, possibly with settings. I don't know. I and it's know. not even something that I could hand them the computer and the time machine. Yes, absolutely. You could go through the if, router. If you were willing to do, oh, but it does have to, well, no, but they, you're giving them the router along with the time cap. The time capsule is the router. Oh, so it doesn't have to route into my. Uh, no, no, they could, they, you could bring them the whole thing. You could ask them, hey, Apple, <laughs> would you like me to bring the whole thing in because this is not working? Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I have to admit, I am not a fan in general of Time Machine. Uh, I prefer to use, I, I just prefer to use different third-party software for my backup. But um, so it could, I mean, it could be the, the best solution for you would be to stop using Time Machine. That's the software you're using. You can oh, still, is there another software that we Yeah, you could still use the Time, time capsule. capsule. Yeah, because that, that Time Capsule drive is just a network-attached drive. So oh. you can use any backup program. I love Super Duper, and I would recommend it. Okay. Yeah, if go. Super Duper. Would it give me instructions how to make it work with the time machine? Yep, and it's free. Oh. Now oh, that a, sounds like a better solution. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think I'm doing that thing where you keep trying the same thing and trying, expecting different results. It's called and insanity. Yes. Insanity. Exactly. <laughs> okay. And it's making you insane. It's from a company called Shirt Pocket Software. They have a paid version, but you can, you don't really need the paid version. Uh, it would be fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe you do for the time capsule, I'm not sure, but it, they call it the perfect complement to time machine. I call it the perfect replacement for time machine. And does it also do the thing where in order to get on the Internet, I have to route it through the time capsule? Yeah, see, the time capsule is your router as well as a backup drive. Really think of it as a router. You really have a, an airport extreme with a built-in hard drive. And that's why you're using time machine to back up to it. It doesn't need to use time machine. That's just Apple software. I don't like Time mm -hmm. Machine. I think there are better solutions like Super Duper. Okay. So just, I, here's how you fix it. Start using okay. Super Duper. You can continue to use your time capsule. Think of that as your airport router, because that's what it is, with, uh -huh. it, with a hard drive in it. And you're backing up to that hard drive. Okay. So I would erase, I would erase the hard drive still. S install Super Duper. Super Duper has very good explanations. It's shirt-pocket.com. Okay. And um, and you can and it, it even it has a built-in scheduler, so it'll automatically on. It doesn't do. Okay, here's what it doesn't do. That thing where you look like you're going through space and you're seeing okay. your previous files fly by yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't, doesn't do that. Okay. Can you live without that? I think I can. Thank God, because that thing is a waste of space. Okay. <laughs> you don't need that. 